Hello, sweet crafty friends. This is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards. It is the weekend. It's Saturday night. And I am coming on to share um, some happy mail that I received from a new friend of mine. Her name is Sandra. Um, she has a YouTube channel, which I will link down below. And she um, asked for my address to send me some things. And we had been chatting back and forth about... Um, the beautiful gingerbread tag that my friend Kat, who is Lolly Thimble on Etsy um, and on YouTube, uh, had made for me. And um, I had shared it with you guys when she sent me, um, I've shared it several times, but anyway, I just love this little gingerbread. Anyway, Sandra loved it too and was interested in it. And um, anyway, after conversations back and forth and talking with Kat, um, she had asked for my address to send me some happy mail. So I'm just going to unwrap this and take a look. Um, this looks like it's a little card. It says hello. I'm going to just untie this. Oh, this is adorable. Oh my gosh, Sandra. This is so cute. Oh, what have you done here? Oh, there's something inside it. Okay, so look at this cute little ginger. Oh, that's just adorable. Did you draw that, Sandra? See, that just goes to show you, you guys, how simple things, you know, I'm pretty sure she just drew this, maybe by looking at a picture of a ginger or something. And then she added a little heart with um, some glitter and a little bow with a tiny little heart and a hello. Isn't that adorable? What a cute card. And then you open it and inside she has made a little gingerbread ornament to go on my gingerbread tree and probably knowing me Sandra I'm gonna this, I'm gonna have this out all year because it's adorable <laughs> I just love gingerbread and it's so fun to get things now this looks like it's a resin um, I don't know anything about resin I know my friend Mimi um, does a lot of different resin things and my friend Heidi um, and also Scrap Diva 29 does resin stuff, but I have not gotten into that. Um, I don't shop a lot. I don't go out and go places and buy stuff very much anymore. Um, I just mainly use what I have, and so I haven't really ever done resin. But this is beautiful. I hope you guys can see. It's like a, almost like a swirly, marbly chocolate color. And then there's a little tiny heart on here that almost feels like it's made out of crystal or glass. I, I don't know, that might be resin too. But that is adorable. And she says, Hi Jill, oops, I forgot to include the foam. This is what started it all. Included a mixed media book I made you could use for stamping and coloring, etc. Again, thanks for all your inspiration. XXOO Sandra. So that is her sweet little card. So cute. I love this little tiny size of cards that a lot of people are doing now. I just think they're so sweet, especially for Happy Mail. So that is just beautiful. I'm gonna set your card on my table so I can look at it every day. I'll put it right back there where I can see it. Well, maybe I'll leave it in the shot for now while I finish opening. So she said that she sent me a little journal. And Sandra, if you take a look at her channel, she's got beautiful heart on her channel. Um, you will love exploring and looking at all the different things that she shares. Um, I, do, I have never made a journal. I've made some scrapbooks, but um, I have never made a journal. So this is, it looks like it's, okay, I see. So this is like the wrap that, that ties it closed. That's really neat. And that's just made with um, either sari silk or seam binding. I'm not sure which. And then look at this on the front. It's got a pen nib. Isn't that cool? And I love anything with text paper, um, like old book paper. This has been decoupaged, I think, onto here. But then you open it up. I'll try and get the whole book in frame, so I'm gonna move down a little bit. But you open it up, and it is, maybe it goes this way. Does it go this way with the pen nib up? I'm not sure. Um, but there are some little pockets here think with a closure and I think maybe this just got stuck but this this opens up you pull the um, the paper clip off and it's a pocket and it has some little ephemera in there and then she has the pages in here they're all um, different things 
but room for you to, to journal and add whatever you want to add, pictures or um, keep track of something. But just a really cute look at the pen um, stamp she has. So this is adorable. So just a sweet little journal and then there's a pocket at the back with more ephemera. Isn't that neat? And I think it's closed with some sort of a tape, probably like a bookmaker's tape that's been stamped on. So an adorable little journal. I love this. I just love the text and how you've got the pen nib on here. And then you can just wrap these around and then tie it closed to hold it shut. So that is adorable. I'll have to play with the ties and decide how I like to tie it the most. But that is beautiful. So thank you for sharing your art with me. And then she did include some foam. We were talking about foam and I was saying how, um, you know, my health situation is such that I am trying really hard to not go to any stores, you guys. So she is sharing some of the craft foam that you need to make the gingers with. So that was sweet of her to include that. And uh, there's a bunch of it here, plenty for me to make gingerbreads. So look at all of that. There's a ton of it. All the different shades that you need to make a gingerbread man. And I am just gonna treasure your card. I am, I love cards, you guys. And every card I get, I keep. So if you send me a card, I will keep it. <laughs> um, I love looking through them when I need inspiration. I love putting them out on the different holidays. I have a stack of Valentine's cards that I have around my room right now because Valentine's Day is coming and it keeps me inspired to create for Valentine's Day. And I'm looking forward to spring and getting out the beautiful spring cards that I have from so many of my friends. So um, more than anything, I love receiving um, happy mail just receiving a card makes me the happiest mainly because I'm getting older and I don't handle stuff as well anymore um, I, I like to keep things more simple with my crafting now and just have the supplies that I need and not any extras um, you know just have a simpler life and uh, my favorite crafts are making cards and uh, crocheting. So those are the two things that I, I mainly focus on now. I don't delve into very many other things. I still do a little bit of scrapbooking and memory keeping in different ways, but mostly digitally. So um, anyway, I just wanted to come on and share this beautiful happy mail from Sandra. Sandra, you know my heart and prayers are with you and your family. And um, I also thought I would take this opportunity to share an order that I did place. I do occasionally buy things still, and I ordered this from Honeybee Stamps. I can't remember if I, I, I saw this on several, I saw it on the Honeybee website, but I also saw some projects with this die set. And um, I saw some really neat things. Jennifer McGuire used it in a recent video. Um, and. There aren't a ton of Valentine products, it doesn't seem like this year, or maybe I'm just not looking as much at stuff. But I really like this, and I just thought this was something, if you know me, you know that I love anything with hearts. Um, I think love is the universal language that we all speak, and it's what the world needs more than anything else right now, is the end of hatred and for everybody to love one another um, and to accept one another and accept our differences and celebrate being members of humanity together so I just love anything with hearts and I thought this was a beautiful beautiful piece I love honeybee stamps for a couple reasons everything they do is recyclable packaging as much as possible so they mail in paper they wrap in paper and I love that about them um, they also sent me a free gift so thank you very much they included these little tiny candy hearts so I'm excited to have these to play with so, and they have little uh, tiny, teeny, tiny sentiments on them that you can see there. So that was really sweet of them um, to include those. I'm gonna use those in like a shaker or something. So, and I even like their little black and white bag. I think that's a neat thing and you could cover this up and reuse it. So I'm a big fan of recycle, recycling everything I can. So anyway, um, they also send you this little card that says sending you happy mail that you could also use to make a card for somebody. So I love the way they do their packaging and they have fabulous products. Um, and I just thought this die was so pretty. So I'll probably come back with a project using this hopefully before Valentine's Day. 
So that is what I wanted to share. Sandra, thank you again for your beautiful happy mail and the beautiful um, album and ornament. And um, of course, you know I love the gingers. So everybody have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. I'm probably going to be back and do one more video with some other things I want to share. So God bless you. Bye now.